New month, November 2023, and we're going to cover the Visa Bulletin Board. If you something you want to know, just stay tuned, and I'll be right back. USA Moon. Hello and welcome. Like I said in the introduction, today we're going to cover the Visa Bulletin Board of November 2023. Some of you guys who are not immediate relative or your family member petition for you, well, you have to check the Visa Bulletin Board. You have to wait until the priority date becomes current before you can get a welcome letter or uh, interview appointment letter. If you are new here, my name is John. My goal is to help newcomers, permanent resident, and also U.S. citizens. Okay, so. In the visa bulletin board, um, you have to cover date for filing and also final action date. Those are the charts you have to, to check. And some of you guys don't know exactly how to check the chart, and that's what we're going to cover. Okay, if you're ready, let's go in front of my computer. So, guys, uh, like I said, we're going to cover family sponsor preferences, which is on F1, F2, F3, and F4 category. So, some of you guys uh, who don't know what F1 is, it's basically unmarried sons and daughters of U.S. citizens. Uh, and then we have on uh, F2 category, we have F2A. F2A is spouses and children of permanent resident, and F2B is unmarried sons and daughters of permanent resident. And then we have F3. F3 is basically married sons and daughters of U.S. citizens, as you can see here, and F4 brothers and sisters or ad of uh, adult uh, U.S. citizens. Okay. So now let's uh, cover uh, date for filing, and then after that we're gonna cover final action date. So guys, uh, this is the date for filing chart of November 2023. So basically, these people are waiting for a welcome letter to start an immigrant visa process, okay? Uh, in case you're going to get a visa to come to United States of America. People who already live uh, here in United States of America, this is uh, uh, your priority has to become current uh, for the date for filing, in the date for filing chart before you can apply for a green card, okay? So... Uh, as you can see here, we have a different category. We have the F1 uh, that I told you, which is right here. Uh, F1. And then we have uh, F2A, F2B, F3, and uh, F4 category. So what you're going to do, some of you guys don't know how to read the chart. So the chart, you see there are some countries named here, like Philippines, Mexico, India. We have uh, China, China mainland born, and also we have all chargeability on uh, area except on those listed. So basically, this category right here, this column right here is for uh, any uh, applicant who are not from China mainland born, who are not from India, Mexico, and Philippines. Okay, you guys have to pay attention to this column right here. Okay, let's say you're from France, or Germany, or Ghana, or Nigeria, or let's say uh, pakistan you guys have to pay attention to this column right here so if you are in f1 category this is your curve day meaning that uh if your priority date comes before this date right here let's say your priority date is um uh july 1st uh, 2017 it means that it's uh it becomes uh, current uh, you're gonna get notification from either uscs or or uh, NVC, depending on where you're, if you live in the United States of America or overseas, okay? So, if you're in F2A category, this is your cutoff date. Again, ch ch check your priority date against this date. If you are two F2B category, this is it right here. This is the date. F3, this is the date here, March 1st, 2010. And the F4 category is on March 1st, 2008, okay? So, if you are from China, mainland, born India, Mexico, and the Philippines, you have to pay attention to this column right here. Let's say you are in China, mainland, born, and you are in F1 category, this is your cutoff date. If you are in F2A category, this is your cutoff date. F2B uh, category, this is your cutoff date. Uh, F3 category, this is it. And the F4 category, this is your cutoff date. If you are from India, this is the column you have to pay attention to. If you are from India, you are in F1 category, this is your cutoff date. Check your, uh, your uh, priority date, which is the day your petition was filed against this date right here, against the cutoff date. Uh, F2B, uh, F2A, this is it right here. F on 2B, this is it. F3 here, F4 here. Some of you guys who are from Mexico and you are in F1 category, this is your cutoff date. F2A category, this is your color of date. F2B category, this is it. F3 here and the F4 right here. In case you are from the Philippines, uh, this is uh, and you are in F1 category, this is your color of date here, April 22nd, 2015. 
if you are in f2 a category this is it f2b here f3 here and then f4 here so this is basically the date for um filing okay now let's cover final action date so guys on uh, this is the chart for final action date so these people are waiting for uh any of your appointment letter okay or waiting to get uh, a a decision from uh, uscs in case on uh, they put on the applicant the beneficiary leaves united states of america already okay so if uh, you are in uh you are now from china mainland born india mexico and the philippines just like i say in the date for filing you have to pay attention to this column right here which is all chargeability area except those listed okay if you're in f1 category on this will be your cut off date this right here if you are f2 a category this is your cut off date f2b this is right here f3 here and the f4 here okay again this is for people who are not from none of these countries here China mainland born India Mexico and the Philippines in case you are from the China mainland mainland born and you are in F1 category this is the cut of day here you have to check your priority day against this date okay that's what that's all you need to do check and see if your priority day comes before the date in the chart okay if it comes before the day in the chart just be patient you're gonna get a notification from either USCS or NVC okay if you're in F2A category and you're from China mainland born this is your cutoff date f to b here f3 here and the f4 right here if you are from india this is the column you have to pay attention to okay you are in f1 category here f2 a here f2 b here f3 here and the f4 right here in the mexico if you're in the f1 category uh your cutoff date is may 1st on 2001 this is right here if you're in F2A category here, F2B here, F3 here, and then F4, September 15, 2000. And then if you're from the Philippines, uh, the cut off date, and you are in the F1 category, here's the cut off date. Uh, if you're in F2A category, it's on February 8, 2019, F2B, uh, October 22, 2011, F3 here, and then F4 right here. So basically, that is going on. Uh, that's what is going on in uh, date for filing so guys uh, if you have a question please uh, let me know in the description below that's it for today's video i hope you guys love it learn something from it. if you know somebody you think will benefit from it go and share with that person if you like the video click on the like button share it, and also subscribe once again my name is john thanks for watching and i talk to you guys in another video usa monda